Our brand new cycle of basic space lands is now available for purchase at www.itresolvesmtg.com. What's going on guys? Welcome to another gameplay video today. Uh, we're trying something a little strange. Uh, it's a Yorian deck, but it's actually a Garuda deck. So the idea here is uh, we're going to be milling ourselves, but uh, the idea is to get the Sphinx Mindbreaker on the battlefield in tandem with things like Yarok, which are going to copy it, uh, and then Thassa, which are going to essentially let us double up on the triggers and then mill out our opponent. Uh, this is a bit of a long shot, but I did test it a little bit. It's actually really, really fun. Uh, it's got a lot of pieces that kind of help it stay alive. So in the early turns, we've got the Grazer here as well as the Leafkin Druid. Um, both are kind of mana ramp cards, but uh, what's great about that is they have that three toughness, which makes them a little bit difficult to kill with things like Shock and stuff like that. Uh, the opponent, if they're like a mono red deck, is going to have to kind of double up with maybe a Fervent Champion and a Shock to kind of kill these, or um, just kind of have to stave off on the attack side of things. So uh, this is actually really, really helpful. We do have Fibblethip, the Lost, which is like one of my favorite cards ever. Um, and essentially, this is just going to help us draw some cards. Uh, we do get to sacrifice it with things like Neoform uh, to try and get out Risen Reef, which is another ramper for us. Uh, Yarok is an elemental. It's going to double up on the triggers here. Uh, it's I, I mean, the idea here is that we're going to be drawing cards and hitting lands like crazy off of Risen Reef, which is awesome. Uh, keep in mind, this is an 80 card deck uh, because it is a Yorian deck. And so we got a lot of like repeat kind of effects because we kind of need some consistency with this kind of list. Um, so what's great about all this mana ramp, though, is one, it helps us get to Garuda a little bit faster. But two, uh, if we don't have Garuda, it could help us get to a Yarok faster or a Sphinx Mindbreaker faster. Uh, and so the idea here is ramping into all of these big things that are going to let us uh, play out the Mindbreaker as quickly as possible and mill out the opponent as quickly as possible. Uh, incubation here is another way to kind of dig through our deck uh, with uh, looking at the top five cards, pulling out a creature card, putting it into your hand. For only one mana, that's pretty great. I mean, that's very, very efficient. Uh, this also works as removal uh, with incongruity. Uh, exile target creature, that creature's controller gets that 3-3 three, three frog lizard creature token, which is just great. Um, spark double here is a way to copy kind of anything that we need, ideally a mind breaker. Uh, so that way we can just continue the mill process. Uh, Thassa is going to blink all of these things uh, and essentially just kind of make it so it's a lot easier to get through uh, the, the win condition. Again, Yarok doubling up on everything. Garuda here is going to be milling us, but pulling out things like Spark Double or the Mindbreaker to help us get to the win. Uh, and then here, uh, dealing or, or milling 10 at a time is really, really good. We are running 36 lands. Um, I'm not going to go through every single land, but essentially, the you can look at the land. The list is in the description. You can look at the description if you want to see the land base. Uh, but it's a, it's pretty much as standard as you could assume it would be. So that's the deck. Uh, we're going to try it out. It's, I think, a really fun deck. Uh, I love mill strategies. They, are, they hold a special place in my heart. Uh, and so I'm excited to see if this actually works, to be honest. Um, and playtesting it, I did get uh, at least one mill win off of it, which was actually really fun. Um, but, uh, you know, it didn't happen every time, of course, so we'll do the best we can. Uh, I think I am going to keep this on the back of Risen Reef. Uh, it's a little bit slow, but we're going to do the best we can. Um, I don't like milling in a Yorian deck, uh, specifically because 80 cards is a lot. <laughs> There's a very high chance you don't get what you need, so I want to make sure we do. Um, also want to talk a little bit about the giveaway going on right now. So I've noticed um, that some people are are like questioning how we're actually choosing the winners and things like that. And they're like, this is a little weird because you just gave away an Akoria bundle. The deal is we just uh, the first giveaway went well, so we wanted to do it again. Um, the, the reality is, uh, someone commented saying, you know, the instructions are the exact same. How are you going to differentiate the winner? They are not the exact same. Uh, it's a different hashtag, which makes it a lot easier for us to track everything. Uh, the way we choose the winner is we pull out all the names. We dedupe that. So that way nobody gets extra entries or anything like that. Uh, and then we random number generator for the winner. It's pretty straightforward. It keeps it very, very fair. 
uh, and that's the whole idea. So, with the for some people, I know someone was saying that we also didn't announce the previous winner. Uh, we did um, in like six different places. Uh, four videos the day that went that the winner was chosen. All four of them, I believe, mentioned the winner. Uh, it's also on our community tab here on YouTube. So if you check out the community tab, you'll see that we post it there. Uh, and it was on our Instagram story. Um, so chances are the people that are commenting about that kind of thing are literally just not watching the videos or keeping up with anything. And that's fine. Uh, but just keep in mind that if that's what you're doing, then it makes a lot of sense why you didn't see the winner. So um, just, uh, just keep that in mind is what I will say. Uh, we do our best to make sure the winner is announced everywhere that it could possibly be announced um and uh you know a little bit frustrating but that's fine um we'll keep risen reef i think um i'm trying to think do we we'll attack chandra here just because um next turn we get to drop a thassa which is going to be pretty sweet May not have had to keep the Risen Reef. Ideally, we would have hit a land, I suppose. So maybe that would have been a little bit better. But that's okay. Winoda. Okay. This deck is sweet. Um, this These Winoda decks are, like, super, super dangerous. But that's okay. Making me really question playing Thassa next turn, though. Because if they hit, like, an Agent, for instance, that's super bad for us. <coughs> Wow, another Winota. Yeah. Um, hmm. We'll just block one of these guys, I think. Uh, so we could Neoform for a Spark Double, which doesn't seem all that great. Um, could just Thassa, which is not necessarily bad. Um, we could Yorian, which doesn't seem bad, or we could just Risen Reef. We could Risen Reef and Neoform. Um, that might be the play. Uh, only because we don't really want to play Foss out if they have Agent. Um, that seems really, really bad. So if they hit Agent, I should say, off of this. Um, so this is going to give us you know, a good bit of uh, hopefully land on the battlefield and everything. But yes. OK. Um, then I think we'll just go ahead and play this out. Let's get a couple more lane. Um, we're going to have to ble be blocking pretty heavily here. Uh, no attacks. Do I have to discard a card? Um, we'll discard this. That's fine. <laughs> so we're going to have to block a lot uh, to stay alive here. But... Um, Theoretically, we might be able to do it. It's a little, like, high hope, but I don't want to play anything too high value with a Winota on the field. Um, I'm trying to think, though. I guess, yeah, they get two triggers off of it with Chandra. <coughs> so we'll see. We will see. Uh, these Winota decks are crazy, crazy potent. Um, unfortunately, they get really, really good stuff very, very quickly. Um, which isn't bad. That's just, you know, the way the deck runs. Um, the other option we could have just like incongruity on the Winota. I honestly don't think of this deck as much of a removal deck. So I was just like not really thinking about it. That was a bit of a mistake though. Um, but that's okay. That is fine. <laughs> All right. How do we stay alive is the question. If we can stay alive. Let's just hope they miss. <laughs> okay. Sure. Miss. They didn't miss. They have options. That's bad. Um, oh, they did miss. Okay. Oh, well, there's Agent. That's bad. Do we just lose uh, three? Okay, so we have to block this. We have to block this. We have to block this. And we lose, right? Yeah, exactly lose. All right, so that was a bit of a mistake. We could have just incongruity the the Winota. That was kind of dumb. Oh well, it happens. It happens. That's fine. Um, 
we were i mean next term we were gonna kind of go off and do our thing but um unfortunately didn't get there that time that's okay let's move to game two um also just want to mention to you guys if you're interested in picking up our uh our new basic land cycle i know we've had a number of orders recently uh really appreciate the support if anybody would like to pick those up you certainly can um they're available at our store uh, it resolves mtg.com is where you can get those so we would certainly appreciate it um, <clears throat> Let's play out the overgrown tomb uh, We'll throw the island out and put fibble fib on the field and then the turn after we get to risen reef So that's pretty good and we got Garuda. That's good. Uh, let's do this draw our card Perfect that's actually not bad um and I'm kind of leaning towards playing this over even the Risen Reef, uh, just to effectively block. Um, I want to say no blocks. Normally I would trade off that, but I don't think we need to. Um, not yet. That might be a mistake, but we'll we'll do the best we can here. Um, do we Risen Reef or do we Grazer? I'm going to lean towards Grazer because it guarantees us another land drop here. Get that out. And then I think we'll pass and not we'll attack here. Um, we're not going to use this yet. I do think against a Cauldron Familiar deck, it's nice to be able to exile something. So we may do that. <laughs> Jund Sacrifice. Sure. Like that. Is a great one to exile, for instance. Um, hmm. This is just a card that we can't effectively deal with very well. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. We will get a second blue. Now we can Neoform here. Is it worth it is the question. Um, I'm going to say yes, actually. Get rid of Fibblethip, um, so we can get Risen Reef. Cool. Perfect. <laughs> Oops, no attacks. Perfect, perfect. All right, cool. That worked out pretty well. So now next turn, we get to Garuda. That's annoying for sure, because uh, now they can take out the Risen Reef, for instance, um, which is bad. It's not really the end of the world, because we already got the land that we needed off of it, but we'll see what we can do. Sure. Now they can attack in with something here if they'd like. Um, I'm going to block this. I think we really need to stay alive, um, and I'd rather do that. Next time we're getting Garuda down, so I'm not terribly worried. This isn't something that they can, I guess, easily burn out is the takeaway. Um, and we got a Thassa, correct? Yeah, let's get Thassa down. Uh, we'll put this down. We get to do this again, which is great. Um, and hopefully we get to hit a Sphinx, though I will say... Against these Sacrifice decks, decks um, Sphinx is a little bit tricky um, because you really want to win quickly if you can. It's a Yarok in the graveyard, but we can't get that. Uh, we'll just get a Fibble Thip. It's not super exciting, but, you know. Sorry for the frame rate, by the way, guys. They get to just kill this, but we get to draw a card is the takeaway. <laughs> Sure. So, hmm. We're staving off attacks, at least somewhat. Um, not tremendously well, because they can just witches up. And, oh my goodness. Yeah, that's pretty good. We may just lose off of these. Um, I think it was right to get rid of the priest, but man. <laughs> yeah, 
They may be able to just win off of this. Ugh, feels bad. I'm glad we conserved our life total as best we could, though. Uh, that, I think, was very, very key. Another priest. Okay. Okay, good. At least they didn't attack. That's a start. <laughs> uh, let's do this. One, two, three, four, five. So let's do this. Spark double. In that case, let's go ahead and play the spark double. We'll copy Garuda. It's going to bring Fossa out, which is really good. Um, oh, there's another Garuda. And yeah, we hit that. Um, we'll keep the original. And there was a Sphinx, so that's good. Uh, oh, we can't hit Sphinx. I'm sorry. Uh, duh. Uh, let's copy Garuda again. A priest. Um, hmm. I actually think we take the priest. <laughs> It's not great, but uh, Thassa doubling up doesn't really help us all that much. They get, do get to kill some stuff here, which is pretty good. Sure. So they're going to kill the priest. Um, and then probably just deal one to us, which, you know, isn't bad. It's fine. <laughs> Uh, do we attack here is the question. I'm guessing no. So we do get to do this again. Copy this. A leaf can druid. <laughs> oh, they have bullets at Citadel. That's cool. Alright, so we are shields up officially. Um... My guess is they're going to be able to kind of kill us, though we do get to Yorian, um, which is going to mill quite a bit. Question is, is it good enough? We'll see. We will see. Good news is uh, they're going to mill out faster than we are because of obviously having an 80 card deck, which is part of the reason this is a Yorian deck, which makes a lot of sense. This is fine that they're killing this. I really don't care that much. They're going to potentially make a sack a creature here with Priest. I don't super care about that either. Uh, we'll just sacrifice a Spark Double. We can't sacrifice the original Garuda because uh, if we Yorian, we lose the ability to Spark Double it uh, for the record. So we are going to keep this one around. Sure. They may just win this turn also. Lots and lots of damage coming through. And we had to sacrifice permanent, so two more damage is coming in. Yeah. They could make a food, sack the food, and they win, right? Uh, off of the Gilded Goose, they make the food, and then they just pay two and sacrifice it, gain a few life. Um, and then they win. If they think about it. We'll see. Ah, okay. Alright, that works too. Alright, no wins so far. And that's okay. We'll, uh, we'll try for a game three here. Hopefully we can make it work. Uh... I still want to see, I mean, we kind of got to see the deck do its thing, but against that style of deck, it's a little bit tricky. Um, putting Cauldron Familiars in their graveyard isn't really a back a backslide for them. <laughs> um, so we'll try and see if we can get uh, a good solid Sphinx win uh, very, very soon. Um, because of Incubate, I'm going to try it. <laughs> Uh, we can turn one incubation, which is not bad. Uh, Yarok or Spark Double. 
I'm gonna take the spark double actually. Uh, that in tandem with Risen Reef even is like fine. It's not amazing. Obviously, we're looking to hit Garudas with our spark doubles, but like you know, that's cool. Uh, a Lutri deck. Man, this is like the first time I think I've seen a Lutri deck. Maybe second time. I don't know. I almost never see this card. Um, I love that it was banned like immediately. I think that's hilarious. Uh, they probably just take Risen Reef. Yeah, that sucks, but that's fine. <laughs> Fabled Passage. Yeah, we'll play that. Um, we'll go ahead and do this. Uh, and we'll get a black. Whoops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. A little too far. Get our black source. Got plenty of blue. Um, <clears throat> they may do this again just so they can get Thassa. Doesn't look like they will. Okay. Um... Hmm. Debating here. Um, let's be mana efficient and play out Thassa. Don't know that that's 100% correct, uh, if I'm honest. Um, could have been correct to play the Risen Reef first, and then next turn look to either Spark Double or Thassa, depending on what they do. Because um, there's a very real chance they have a Thought Scour or a Thought Erasure again here. Um, and that's not super ideal. Uh, to to have it run this way, but that's okay. We'll see. They may just also have a counter spell, which is not unlikely. <laughs> yeah, we'll keep that. I'm guessing we're running straight into a counter here. Oh, okay. Uh, well, we know we get the land, so that's good. I love Thassa's interaction with, like, any of our stuff. <laughs> uh, it's just very, very good. Um, another Spark Devil. Wow. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, next turn, I'm kind of thinking we just Garuda. Uh, I'm not going to block. They get to draw a card, which sucks, but I don't think it's the end of the world. Um, interesting deck, though. Demir Lutri? I have not seen this. <laughs> Excuse me if I'm a little sniffy today, Today, by the way. Um, allergies have been terrible. Uh, just want to mention, by the way, if you want to join our Discord, uh, we do officially have the link in the description. Um, we've had a lot of people joining. It's great. It's awesome to see our community. I literally have it up right here. That's why I looked over here. Um, it's really great to see everybody in the community kind of joining in and like hanging out with us. It's fun. Uh, really, really fun. And so if you are interested, we do recommend that you check it out and just see how you, uh, how you like it hanging out with us. Okay. Makes sense. Good thing we have another one. Um, we're not going to attack here. We're going to bounce. <laughs> That was dumb. We actually, I mean, it's missed damage. It's not the worst thing in the world, but like, you know, we're not really on the damage plan, to be honest, but like, you know, free damage is free damage. That was a bit of a mistake. Um, we do have to start blocking this at some point, um, so we'll be somewhat cognizant of that. <laughs> I really just want them to play anything, so that way we can play out some stuff, but they're not gonna. Um, do we just try it again? Chances are it's not gonna work. The other option is to try for Yaruk, uh, or just incongruity this. You know what? Let's try for the Yaruk. Let's be greedy. Their chances are they're going to counter this. There's no way they don't. <clears throat> this deck is so greedy. It's awesome. I love it. It's a bit of a jank deck, but that's fine. Divine. You got it. Uh, let's do this. Might as well, I think. Uh, we could exile this. I don't really think we need to. Um, 
Weirdly, I kind of think we keep the Leaf Kin Druid. Um, <laughs> that's so silly, but like, yeah, I'm kind of in for it. Uh, let's attack it in here. Just because. Oh, yeah. Well, that's part of why we shouldn't have attacked it. No, that's fine. All right, mistakes have been made. We are playing very, very loose. Messing up all kinds of things. That's okay. We learn, we learn. Uh, so this is Demir Flash with Lutri. And a Narset. Huh. Okay. So you didn't get any value out of Lutri other than it being a 3-2 flasher. It's kind of interesting. Counter target activate ability. Okay. Is that a legendary spell? Yeah. Well, that's a legendary spell. That kind of sucks. Um... No. I'm gonna do this. No, it's not very exciting. Um. Hmm. -hmm. Ooh. Technically, it would have been correct to say, like, submit zero, but. I'm going to see if this actually works or if they just go ahead and counter it. <coughs> Excuse me. This is a super counter heavy deck. It's really interesting. This way we can block this. Um, if they want to bounce this, they probably can. Um, but we'll see. Turns out it didn't... Well, no. Risen Reef doesn't draw, so it would have worked. Uh, yeah. They just have every counter spell under the sun. I mean, that's all that this is. Running into a million counters. This way it keeps them from drawing an extra card. Maybe they can kill this. Oh, disfigure. Interesting. Very interesting. We can't spark double this yet. So now we're up against at least two counters. <laughs> um, I mean, we play this out, it gets countered. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and concede, I think. They just have so many counters, There's, I don't think there's a way we get through for any damage. Alright, so we didn't actually get there. Um, I will say in playtesting we had better luck, but I think that's just a matter of, you know, the matchup you're against. This isn't supposed to be like a, a grindy deck, or one that um, grinds through the best of one ladder. This is more of a jank funny deck, so uh, just interesting to see how it works. Hopefully we will at least get one mil win. Um, so we'll certainly shoot for that in video two. Uh, I do just want to mention again, guys, uh, the, the giveaway stuff, we've had a few comments saying like, oh, this is shady, that kind of thing. Nothing we have ever done is shady. It's very transparent. Um, do we get value off of the giveaways? In terms of subscribers, yeah. Um, but obviously it's not like amazing value in terms of Apparently you guys some of you guys at least are not watching the videos because that's where we announce the giveaway winners And you guys some of you obviously not all of you uh, But some of you guys are not watching the videos and not hearing the giveaway winners. So That's I, I mean, I'm sorry. It's posted in like six different places So I can't really say we're not doing our part um, what I will say in the near future uh, For this next giveaway and we'll try and do this for every giveaway coming up We'll do a, a specified giveaway winner video just to make it a little bit easier. But like we're doing this is just a nice way to give back to the community for supporting what we do. Um, it's really nice to have so much support and like we certainly appreciate that. But obviously, you know, we just want to make sure that we're doing this for the right reason and that you guys are getting something out of it. Because obviously that's the whole point is that we want to give away a bundle to somebody who maybe couldn't afford their own bundle, or maybe just really wants to get that one really cool card for their deck. Like, that's awesome. That's why we're doing what we're doing is so we can do stuff like that. 
Um, but we put money, we put time, we put effort into all of those things. And it's a little frustrating, I will just say, to hear like people thinking, well, this is shady, like all this stuff. It's not shady. Like, I, I mean, there is no, there's no more transparency that we could give you guys um, to make it any less shady. Like, this is pretty straightforward. Um, also, for the record, a shady giveaway would be asking for like some specific email address sign up or something like that. We're asking you to subscribe subscribe to a YouTube channel. You have every right to unsubscribe and we never see your contact information. So like, you know, there's none of that actually going on. Um, so anyway, my, my biggest thing is, you know, we do these giveaways to hopefully give back to somebody in the community that supports our channel. Yeah. But obviously just wants, wants to have some new cards and maybe they can't afford them or whatever. So like, it's just a little frustrating to hear that. So, um, I know that that's, uh, that's a very minuscule, uh, part of the community. So I don't want to, uh, st yeah, I, I'm not condemning everybody or anything like that. I don't mean to do that. Um, I just want to make sure that you guys understand we're doing the best we can to make this as transparent as possible and just a fun way to give back. Um, so please take it in stride. This isn't meant to be anything too crazy. This is just a, a good way for us to build the channel and a great way to give back. So that's it. There is nothing else to it. Um, we gave away another bundle. The hashtag is different this time. That's how we're tracking it. So if you would like to enter, it's hashtag Acoria bundle, not hashtag Acoria giveaway. Uh, that was the first one. We're doing a second one now. So just a heads up. I just wanted to get that kind of off my chest. Uh, I do appreciate all the support in the giveaway, but also just on the channel. Uh, lately, it's been really, really awesome to see all you guys showing up and watching the videos and doing that kind of stuff. It really does mean a lot. Uh, joining the Discord is really fun, too. If you want to hang out with us, you certainly can. And uh, with that, I'm going to jump out of here. We'll see you in the next gameplay video, part two. And hopefully, we will get that mill win. I'm, I'm really excited for it. Hopefully, we can do it. I'll see you guys then.